Randy Quaid thought it was going to keep him alive if he stood up in front of the entire world and called out Hollywood. What he didn't realize is that there are some fates worse than death. And in his case, they first made him look crazy and then made him crazy. When Randy Quaid first started talking about Star Whackers, had he said it differently and called them exactly what they were, people murdering actors in Hollywood, maybe people would have looked at what he was saying in a different light. But because he called them Star Whackers, people looked at him like he was crazy. And while he may have preserved his life, he was worn down and worn down and worn down to the point that it broke him completely. Regardless, what he said at this press conference is nonetheless eye-opening. Check this shit out. For the past 20 years, my wife Evie and I have been the victims of criminal activities perpetrated by a small network of individuals who are out to destroy us personally, professionally, and financially. This network of individuals is manipulating the banking system and the criminal justice system for the purposes of sabotaging our credit and our credibility. We are not criminals, nor are we fugitives from justice, nor are we crazy. We are simply artists and filmmakers who are being racketeered on. We believe there are to be a malignant tumor of star whackers in Hollywood how many people do you know personally who have died suddenly and mysteriously in the past five years? I have personally known eight actors, all of whom all of whom I have worked with and was close to. Heath Ledger, Chris Penn, David Carradine among them. I believe these actors were whacked, and I believe that many others, such as Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and Mel Gibson, are being played to get at their money. In the meantime, many a celebrity's image and marketability is being co-opted co -opted and destroyed. Google helps out by keeping the negative stories near the top of a celebrity's web page because it's the negativity that brings in the advertising revenue. I have earned approximately forty million dollars throughout my career. I have profit participation in some of my films. I am being embezzled from by this monstrous ring of accountants, estate planners, and lawyers who are mercilessly slandering me and trying to kill my career and I believe murder me in order to gain control of my royalties. 